As your sheriff, I think it's very important to let you know of current crime trends. I want to warn drivers, especially women, of a new kind of theft happening at gas stations around the United States. It's a crime of opportunity and a crime of distraction. As they're known as sliders, the definition of sliders, they're actually mostly purse thieves. They watch for a woman filling up her car with gas. They pull into the station as if they're getting gas themselves. Then a slider will open the door or reach in an open window of the car and snatch the purse or any other valuables in the front seat. And they drive off while the driver is still busy on the other side of the gas pumps. They're not looking for any confrontation. They just want your property because they know it's left abandoned and you're not paying attention because you're fueling up your vehicle. I highly recommend that drivers lock their doors and keep their purses with them when they exit the car to pump their gas. Remember, stay safe, be aware of your surroundings, and let's keep Queen Anne's County safe. Your police department serves you every day in a different way. The police are mighty handy in these circumstances. The life savings of many persons are still intact because of expert protection by their police. Tattoos have been around for centuries by numerous cultures. Here in the United States, tattoos used to be primarily on men who served in the military. Then we saw more and more tattoos, outlaw bikers and gang members. Now we also see the rich and famous that have them. Of course, there's always the jokesters. And then, some carry it to extreme. There's even TV shows about getting tattoos. Some TV shows about fixing bad tattoos. And over the years, tattoos have been a great way to identify persons. In law enforcement, we use them to identify the alive and the dead. This week, we're profiling some of Queen Anne's County's most wanted persons and their tattoos. Today's episode of Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted starts with Shane Michael Ford is wanted for failing to appear on theft charges from both circuit and district courts. He's a white male, 23 years old, 5 foot 7, and weighs about 150 pounds. Attempts to serve the warrant have indicated that he's moved from his last known address on Brownsville Road. He also uses the name of Shane Michael Pendergrass. This guy's got numerous tattoos. Tribal art on his back, stars on each side of his chest, more tribal art on his right arm. He also has on his right arm F-O-R-D in Old English script. If you have any information about his whereabouts, you're urged to contact local authorities as soon as possible or email me a tip. Carrie Lee Kelly, this is this young lady's third time on our Most Wanted show. Your help has brought her in both times before. Her charge is driving without a license and she simply just doesn't show up for court when she's asked to. After being arrested the last time in June, she was scheduled for court on July 25th. However, she failed to appear and another bench warrant was issued. Kelly's a white female, she's five foot four inches tall, 225 pounds. She has blonde hair and blue eyes. She was born in November of 1973, making her 39 years old. Her last known address was Locust Street in Cambridge. She has tattoos the name Tom on her left chest, an unknown tattoo on her right shoulder. After being charged with a controlled dangerous substance violation on May of 2005, Christine Marie Prentice pled guilty to one of her charges in July. The court gave her a deferred payment of the fines and costs and told her to pay them by September 1st. To date, she's ignored the court and a bench warrant was issued on June of 2006. Christine also goes by the name of Christine Krajowski Prentice and Tina Krajowski. She's now 43 years old and listed as 5 foot 10 inches and 200 pounds. Previous addresses are in Newark and Newcastle, Delaware, but it's believed that she's in the Middletown, Delaware area. Facebook has her employed as Christina Marie's Traveling Salon. She can be identified by her tattoos a rose vine on her ankle, a tribal design on her back near her waist, and a rose on her right shoulder. We do have a picture of other tattoos on her left shoulder with her children's names. If you have any information on this young lady, you're urged to contact local authorities. Rumor has it, and tips from before, say she's working in a hair salon very close to us near the Delaware line. When I was asked to profile this person on Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted, this is one of the persons I could probably do without a script. This person needs to do the right thing and turn themselves in. They've got family here in Queen Anne's County. They're avoiding law enforcement. And so often when we run this profile, I always get that Facebook message saying, I'm trying to do the right thing. I'm trying to turn myself in. 
but there's always an excuse. Josh Hickox, 27-year-old white male, wanted on several district court warrants after he failed to appear on July 31st, 2008. His original charges include a controlled dangerous substance possession, theft over 500, false statement to police, telephone misuse, and a fourth degree burglary charge. Hickox was involved in a false report of a holdup at a gas station where he had worked there for only 10 days. Hickox is five foot 10 inches tall, weighs 150 pounds, has brown hair and brown eyes. He used to live in Chester, but fled the area when he realized he was wanted and is last known to be in Hawaii, but still has family here in Queen Anne's County, as I stated before. Mr. Hickox's known tattoos are a skull on one arm. The script, baby, this won't get any easier, on his upper arm. And he has a small heart with the word beer inside located on his stomach. Our next wanted person is Jennifer Marie Hatch. She's wanted on a February 2013 circuit court body attachment referenced to non-support case. Hatch is five foot four inches tall. She weighs 145 pounds and she's a white female. On August 19th of this year, she turns 35 years old. Now, you may know her as Jennifer Marie Jones as she's used that name in the past. Jennifer can be identified by a dolphin tattoo on her ankle or the word mom tattooed on the small of her back. She may be in Wicomico County in the Pittsville area. If you have any information on Ms. Hatch, you're urged to contact Wicomico County Sheriff's Office or Queen Anne's County. Please, let's bring Ms. Hatch in. Richard Donald Bless. He failed to appear in a circuit court trial in May and a warrant was issued for his arrest. Bless is 50 years old. He's a white male, six foot one inches tall and weighs 280 pounds. He's balding and has gray hair. He has blue eyes and records show he's living in the Glen Burnie area or possibly Curtis Bay. He works as a heavy equipment operator. He has numerous scars. He also has tattoos on both arms and legs and on his right shoulder. Believed to be somewhere in the Capitol Heights area of Prince George's County, Felicia Ann Robinson is wanted for numerous violations of her probation. Robinson was found guilty after she and an accomplice were caught passing worthless checks at several businesses at the Thompson Creek Shopping Center in 2009. Robinson is an African-American female who just turned 41 years old. She's five foot seven inches tall, weighs about 168 pounds. She's used an alias of Bernadette Marie Ferguson and Chaposa Marie West. In addition to her pierced lip, Robinson has several tattoos on her right leg, including barbed wire and Chinese symbols. She also has another tattoo on her right arm. If you have any information about her whereabouts, you're urged to contact Queen Anne's County or your local law enforcement agency. This is a special thanks to all of our viewers on Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted, especially our viewers on Facebook, YouTube, and all of you who pass this around. Denny Owens was wanted on multiple counts of bad check charges in Talbot and Queen Anne's County, as well as theft charges. Somebody identified Mr. Owens as walking his dog in the area of Graysonville. Upon receiving that tip, our office immediately dispatched law enforcement personnel to the apartment that he was hiding in. Denny Owens was taken into custody without any incident whatsoever, but special thanks goes to you, the person who provided the tip, for bringing another one of Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted in for justice. And I want to take this time, as always, to thank all of our viewers, but special thanks goes to Queen Anne's County TV, Queen Anne's County Commissioners. But I'll tell you, our show wouldn't at all be possible without you, the viewer. The viewers on Facebook, YouTube, Queen Anne's County websites, anywhere out there that this video is shared because I'll tell you, Queen Anne's County is a safe and enjoyable community because of persons like you who take the time to do the right thing and send that anonymous tip in or make that phone call to bring persons in to justice. Again, thanks to all of our viewers on Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. If you have any information about these wanted people or unsolved cases, please contact the Queen Anne's County Sheriff's Office at 410-758-0770 or email us at sheriffinfo at qac.org. We also recommend you follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. With the tips we get from the viewers, we're hoping that some of the Queen Anne's County's most wanted get to experience this.